today we will see the last bit of our topic that is applications of enzymes the applications of enzymes means it consists of the both therapeutic applications of the enzymes and diagnostic applications of the enzymes which will ask for the 10 marks so it's a important one so myself manjusha i am started with the last bit of your topic enzyme that is applications of enzymes now we will see one by one what are the different applications of enzymes see first application is that trypsin so how this enzyme is useful trypsin it is a purified enzymes administered orally parenterally intramuscularly in the treatment of acute thromboflebitis see once again trypsin enzyme it's a purified one taken orally parenterally intramuscularly in the treatment of acute thromboflebitis that is a blood clot in the vein and inflammation in the vein for that treatment the enzyme trypsin is applied or useful second enzyme streptokinase so streptokinase enzyme is used in the treatment of hemothorax and hematoma so it is used in the both hemothorax and hematoma third enzyme pepsin enzyme which is used in the treatment of gastric acheria so the third application pepsin enzyme is used in the treatment of gastric acheria fourth enzyme that is the urokinase this enzyme is used in the treatment of pulmonary embolism and myocardial infarction to dissolve the clot fourth urokinase is used in the treatment of pulmonary embolism and myocardial infarction to dissolve the clot moving towards the next next slide so these are the first four applications now the fifth one fibrinolysin and fibrinolysin is used in the treatment of venous thrombosis pulmonary and arterial embolism so this enzyme is useful for the treatment of venous thrombosis pulmonary embolism and arterial embolism sixth enzyme renin which is again used for the same gastric acheria as we see in pepsin so renin is have the same application that is treatment of gastric acheria seventh enzyme asparaginase it is used in the treatment of some types of the leukemia eighth enzyme penicillinase it is used in the treatment of the patients who are allergic to penicillin so we seen fifth sixth seventh and eighth applications of the enzymes moving towards the next applications of the enzyme that is lysozyme enzyme so lysozyme enzyme is used in the treatment of eye infections so patients suffering with the eye infections use lysozyme next enzyme monoamine oxidase enzyme so this monoamine oxidase enzyme responsible for the catabolism of adrenaline hormone and non adrenaline hormones 11th xanthine oxidase enzyme so this enzyme is used for the conversion of xanthine to uric acid and hypoxanthine to uric acid conversion of both xanthine and hypoxanthine to uric acid the next that is the diagnostic applications of the enzymes up till now we seen the therapeutic applications of the enzymes now we will focus on the diagnostic applications of the enzymes as we know the enzymes is found everywhere inside the body maybe eyes stomach liver kidney heart etc means they are found in the plasma also so the certain enzymes which are present in the plasma that are used for the diagnostics or the diagnostic purpose of the disease in order to find out the certain disease infections these enzymes 
are helpful so how that we will see see the next one for example creatine kinase enzyme so the creatine kinase enzyme it is useful or it diagnose how its activity rises in the plasma when there is a infection in the cardiac muscles so in the normal patient it will not rises so this enzyme activity rises in the patients who are suffering with the infection of cardiac muscles next enzyme that is a got glutamate oxaloacetate transaminase so its activity rises or its concentration in the serum rises rapidly after a heart attack so this is also the diagnostic application now the third application that is the g pt that is glutamate pyruvate transaminase so this enzyme increases in serum 10 times greater than the normal okay so its serum concentration it should be the 10 times more than the normal when a patient suffering with the hepatitis so whenever a patient suffering with the hepatitis so there should be gpt level 10 times more as compared to the normal person so these are the diagnostic applications of the enzymes with their examples so in detail we seen the diagnostic applications as well as the therapeutic applications of the enzymes so thank you everyone for watching this video and in the next we will see the nucleic acid in detail thanks